Recording. What's the word, good day? It's 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 football season. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally here. Finally, week one, Miami Dolphins v the New England Patriots. I'm ready. Like this is it's been it's been a long week as well. I don't know if you've seen it, but you know, to and not being named the captain has people going, what does this mean? The team don't trust him. The players don't trust him. Trevor Lawrence is a captain in his first season. You know, Sam Darnold is a captain. He's just joined the Panthers. And Matt Collins was like, you know, the way the way we did it is put your names in a hat. And we, and we went from there. But two was the leader. So, listen, I'm just glad football season said that way we can actually talk about games as opposed to talking about to being a captain or not. Kadeem, like, Mac Hollins is your boy now, bro. Like, you go straight <laughs> to Mac Hollins? Like, this is this is where we at now? Like, yo, you co-signing everything Mac Hollins says now? No, I'm just... It is what it is, you know. That's what Mac Hollins said. What more do you want me to do? Like, Mac Hollins was the only one that really addressed it like that. If Mike Jasicki said it, or friend the podcast Miles Gaskin said it, I would address that as well. But Matt Collins was the only player that I've seen talk about it. So what more do you want me to do? Hey, you know, I think this is our first time on YouTube and we got some adjustments to make. Like waking up earlier to get prepared for the show is a little different now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not just audio no more. I can't eat breakfast and have the podcast at the same time. Now with video, like y'all can see how, oh man, it like Charlie works. 12 hours a day. What's going on over here? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if it looks like I work 12 hours a day, it's because I basically work 12 hours a day, right? So, it's Go Time Dolphins, the Miami Dolphins podcast that goes not only across the pond, but across the world. I'm Charlie Touche. I got Kadeem Simmons with me, and it's always for the fans and by the fans. What's up, man? We out here. Week one preview. I'm in I'm in uh I'm in Boston, Massachusetts right now. I'm going to the game on Sunday, bro. Like I told you, I'm going to the season opener. It's time. We're here. But to it not being the captain, it don't bother me, man. You know, it not not even a little bit. And it was a it was a quote out there that was uh I think it was it was deemed fake, but it was still a good quote. I'm not worried about C's, I'm worried about W's. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yo, fake or not, bro. Like, that's that's what time it is, man. Like. I'm not worried about none of this. I think if you look at the team captains, like the biggest surprise for me is Jerome Baker not being a team captain, given how Jerome Baker yeah. kind of grown in his defense and stuff like that. But like Clayton Fezlum is a team captain. No special teams. Matt Collins is a team captain. Mostly special teams. McCourt is a, a, a captain. I was joined the team. Jesse Davis is a team captain. You know, the six old, old, old linemen. So we're looking at it going. How many starters who you expect to play every single game, every single snap, are actually, you know, a team captain? You know, it's basically, I think if you look at the years as well, these players, these are all guys probably that weren't drafted by, by you know, Brian Flores and Chris Greer, but they've got the experience in the NFL. So it's like the experienced guys are like, yeah, we'll be a team captain this, this year. And again, like what Matt Collins said, let Tua worry about, you know, playing. He's he, he's a leader. It's all good. So, yeah, I'm not worried anything about that. It's just Miami Twitter just wants to argue 24-7. And that's just the way it's going to be until they start winning Super Bowls, basically. I got a question, Kadeem. What time is it in London right now? It's 20 to 5 p.m. How long have we been recording? Go oh really? No, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? How long have we been recording? Uh, basically, since this time last year, since week, this time last year, pretty much, week, yeah. Week one, almost. It might be. You know what? We could probably get the exact anniversary day. Like it was probably, it was, it was right after the game. Uh, what, 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 what day was the first game of the year last year? I all I know is it was a Sunday. <laughs> obviously no kidding so, <laughs> I'm so 
Okay, so episode one went out 16th of September last year. What's today? The, the, the 10th. 10th? It's yeah. almost our anniversary. It's oh, our yeah. anniversary. Hey, anniversary. All right, listen. Almost 365 days. We've been recording, bro. And we've known each other for, I want to say, five years now? Four years? Pretty much the right time, yeah. Yeah, four years now. We've known each other. Why can you still not calculate the time zone of what time we're supposed to record, bro? Like, if we if we already did this on the podcast, if you say a time, I have to do the math and say, okay, Kadeem said 5 o'clock. That means I have to be ready at 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is it that we still go through this discrepancy of time every time we try to record, bro? 365 days into the podcast. Because, right, first of all, you're math and math and evil because we start on the 16th. We are six days away from that, so we're not 365 days. So that's, a, that, that's the first thing. I round it, bro. I round it. Well, well, even, well, make that clear. But the second thing is that, like I said, my math wasn't mathing. So you said the time. I was like, hold on. No, because of my work schedule. And then before you even responded, I was like, hold on. Wait a minute. I got it wrong. So my math eventually mathed, but like, leave me alone. No, like, it didn't. I had I had to check you right. I had to get you right. Like, bro, you said a time and that was like seven hours away. I'm like, bro, it's only an hour away. Like we recorded in an hour and you was like, oh, my, my bad. My, 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 my. Hold on. Why don't you say we're recording in an hour? Like, just, just say that. Nah, because we had to get the time right. Oh, we because it was over an hour. It was like an hour and forty five minutes. So I wasn't gonna say an hour and forty five minutes. You should just be able to calculate that, like cel Celsius and Fahrenheit. You should know how to do that by now. I, I can't, which is why I have it written down in front of me. Like when See. we get there, I've got it written down in front of we'll, me. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So good morning football has the Dolphins not making the playoffs, not making a wild card, not even second in the division. How you feel about that? Um, good morning, good morning football, along with most media over the past two years, have got everything wrong about the Miami Dolphins. We say it so often, but this team was meant to be what the worst team of all time in the league. This team wasn't meant to win, wasn't meant to win 10 games last year. This team wasn't, wasn't meant to win one game two years ago. So, you know, that's basically. Well, that's basically billboard material for me. It's okay, these guys don't think we're a playoff team. Let's go out there and prove them wrong. But at the same time, you know how this team coaches, you know the philosophy of this team. They're not thinking about playoffs right now. They're thinking about New England week one. And once they get past New England in week one, it will be the Buffalo Bills in week two. So I, I, I doubt that conversation even happens inside, you know, the Dolphins training facility. I don't think I don't think coaches care. I don't think players care because they're literally solely focused on week one to get the Dolphins and to start thinking about playoffs and stuff like that. They'll lose to, to, to the Patriots. Like it's, it's it's basically focus on tomorrow, not you know three months down the line. Basically, we won ten games last year. That's what I go back to. We won ten games last year. Listen, I'm not I'm not worried about what good morning football has to say i'm not worried about what people on espn have to say i'm not worried about colin the clown i'm not worried about joy going against the family fredo you know what i'm saying i'm not worried about none of these people i'm not worried about miami dolphin beat writers beat writers like yo like it would be nice to have y'all support you know what I'm saying we don't need no yes men but it would be nice if you guys could be like oh i, I like what's going on here in miami like come on man like Tua ain't a captain. Tua's going to get benched. There's no more Fitzpatrick. Like, yo, can we just get a season where it's like face value? Let's get let's get what we give. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we have not gotten any credit in, in anything that we've done yet. Flores is supposed to be fired first year. Like, bro, I'm done with all of that. This season going to change things up. Two was gonna get thirty five touchdowns. What other? What other? Hey, did we make a name for that segment yet? Uh, uh, we, me and you, we didn't know. I think where where 
So I've started a new job. My working hours are like not as bad as Charlie's, but you know, it's been difficult this week to kind of get our schedules in sync, basically. So no, we haven't had time to really have a name for that for that segment yet. But it, it will come. It will come soon. Do you remember the best we got so far? Yeah, two has 35 touchdowns. I think we said over and under, over and under 30 and mm-hmm. Devontae Park off 13 and a half games. Oh, I got another one for you. I'm listening. I'm listening. Who has more receptions this season? Devontae Parker or William Fuller? Ooh, Devontae Parker. I I I I was gonna take Parker too. I think I think <laughs> I think Devonte Parker is being the odd man out. Like everybody likes the shiny new toys. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, we got Jalen Waddle. There's chemistry with Jalen Waddle. You know what I'm saying? Tua knows Jalen Waddle, and and Jalen's gonna get a hundred receptions. He might, but I doubt he'll get a hundred receptions his first season. Every year after this year, Jalen Waddle's gonna get off. He's gonna be a target machine. It's gonna be a wrap. Jalen Waddle's gonna he's gonna push for offensive rookie of the year. Jalen Waddle. 100 receptions. I don't know. William Fuller comes in. Oh, he's a burner. He's going over the top. Um, you know, everybody's gonna be able to eat intermediate routes. That's cool. But there is still chemistry with Parker and, and Tua. Who caught Tua's first touchdown? Devontae Parker. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. All them intermediate routes are going to be wide open now. Jalen Waddle's going over the top. Fuller's going to go on one hash. Waddle's going to go – or Waddle's going to go on a hash. Fuller's going to go on the sideline. They're going to they're gonna put um, DBs in jeopardy. Like, what, y'all got to make a decision. And while y'all do that, Gisecki and Parker are going to be underneath wide open. Big body guys. Two was going to read that and eat that up all day long, right? So that being said, I like Parker to get off – way more than what people expect everybody knows i'm not a parker guy but people also know i'm a fantasy football guy and you got to put your emotions to the side during fantasy football and for those who don't know it's go time dolphins the miami dolphin podcast that goes not only across the pond but across the world i'm charlie touche got kadeem simmons with me we had our first ever go time dolphins fantasy football draft over the, the the past week and let me tell you it came out of nowhere we had people ready we it's a 10 team league ppr espn platform and shout out to everyone in the league what well, <clears throat> excuse me i'll give you all, all you guys your individual shout outs but the way the draft came about i hit up kadeem on a whim and i say hey bro because we were supposed to record that night. And I said, hey, can, are we recording tonight? And he's like, yeah, we, we're going to record. It, it has to be short, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, yo, I wonder if we could we could scheme up the draft for our league tonight. How many, bro, you know, but maybe, Kadeem, I know you might not know because you're not that nice in fantasy football. Sucks to be you. But listen. Everybody knows when you put together a fantasy football draft, it is the hardest thing to to schedule. Like you have 10 different people, 10 different work schedules, 10 different places of the country, 10 different everythings. So I text everybody. This is a true story. Three hours away from the draft. Well, actually, there was no draft schedule. But I text everybody three hours away from recording the podcast. And I say, hey, if you... If we had a draft tonight, would you be able to do it? And and I, I put a disclaimer like I doubt we'll pull it off, but if you can, let me know. I'm just I'm just getting a filler for everything. Everyone hit me back. Everybody hit me back. Yeah, I, I could go today. Someone else, Sarah Steve. It's, oh, it's actually it works for me tonight. Um, Chris Adams from Facebook group. We don't even have a Facebook that's set up. He hits me. Yeah, sure. Just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm flexible. Everybody, all these people hit me up. Phenomenon. My dog, uh, John Hoover. On the lake. He's fishing. On the lake. Like, yo, I got to drive back to the house. I don't know if I'm going to have time. But, yeah, let me know if, if, if that's the thing. 
I could probably drive on the way back from from fishing. Kadeem's the only one that I don't know if it's going to be able to drive. I'm like, Kadeem, bro, you have a podcast. You have your own podcast, bro. Miami Dolphins podcast. You have to make this draft. You got you got to do whatever you got to do to make this draft, right? And I thought it would have been pretty dope to have the draft while we recorded the podcast. So we're going to do that next year. We couldn't do it this year because we just threw it up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's working. Kadeem's busy. I'm busy. Uh, we'll, we'll get it right next year. We're going to have the draft on the podcast, on the show, live. We, you might you might see the, the the ticker with the like the, the real NFL draft, like when, when Charlie picks and he, Charlie selects Dalvin Cook, what, whatever. Kadeem selects Aaron Jones in the first round. I'm pretty sure no one's seen that coming, right? So I, I just spoil alert. Kadeem selected Aaron Jones second overall in the Go Time Dolphins podcast, leaving a door uh, draft, leaving a door open for me to have another championship, fantasy football championship. So shout out to everyone who drafted with us. There was no autos. Like everybody made it in in a in a two hour notice. It was crazy. Um, we appreciate the listeners of Go Time Dolphins. We appreciate everybody who rocks with us, the people who don't rock with us but still listen to us because they're haters. We appreciate y'all too. You know what I'm saying? So, Kadeem, man, what, why, why, why you made it so difficult for us to pull this, pull this thing off? I feel like before I answer that question, what is, what did the ticket say at the bottom? <laughs> it says, "Who got tour? <laughs> who got tour? Who got tour? You, you got tour? Oh." What was, remember all this like oh in all my in all my drafts I'm gonna get to uh who got two uh, at the end of the day I made it happen I made it happen listen like I said at the moment my 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 work class schedule is just you know so difficult part of the reason why we did it we haven't recorded earlier has been my fault um so yeah but I showed up for the draft stayed up late and I took two uh, and th- that's all that matters that's all that matters. <laughs> You know, I also took Gus Edwards, and he's out for the season now. So, yeah, that was that was a difficult one. But yeah, I got hey, to uh, back back to Parker Fuller discussion. I think Parker, and we're gonna have this fantasy football discussion real quick because we didn't get to have a fantasy football football episode. We were supposed to, and we didn't. So we'll tie that in the first season. And you know what? We'll get the no huddle. What you got for no huddle, Kadeem? Oh, we're going no huddle. Okay. Um, it's a it's an odd one. So we have, as far as far as we know, Austin Jackson and Adam Shaheen will not be playing this weekend. Both, you know, COVID related, which is it's it's a, it's a difficult one, but it is what it is. Not much you can do about it. It's what we're living at the moment. Um, as of practice on Thursday. Albert Wilson was a full participant, as was Landon Roberts, Devontae Parker, Clayton Fedulum, and Savon Ahmed. And then Preston Williams and Liam Eichenberg were both limited um, with injuries. Hopefully, come Sunday, all those guys are fit. But as it stands, the only real doubts, I guess, are both um, Austin Jackson and Adam Shaheen. In terms of the weather, I feel like you should do this because you're actually out in Boston, but I guess I'll do it. The weather forecast for Sunday, as it stands, is 29 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees, um, no, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, 85 degrees Celsius. If it was like... No, 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 It's not 29 degrees Fahrenheit, Holmes. No, 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 I changed it. I like 29 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees I think you tried to change it. And then you said the exact same thing, I think. Well, ap- apologies, because I was, I was going to say if it was 89 degrees Fahrenheit, that you guys would be freezing, I guess. Like, again, no, nah, that's that's right. It is 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Is it? Yeah, I told you, bro. Like, listen, hey, hey for example, like, we're going to no, do this. We, we're going to okay. do this. We're going to do this uh, Fahrenheit uh, Celsius thing right now. And how you calculate Fahrenheit and Celsius. They told me there'll be no math on this show, but I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you like a, a shortcut. If you take the Fahrenheit, what you said 89 degrees Fahrenheit? Hey, 
Fahrenheit, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. 85 or 89? 85, because it's 29 degrees Celsius, which is what I've been trying to say. But um, again, like, I've, it, this, this is some, again, this is on me. You, we said there was no math apart from, I'm, I'm the only one that's got to do math. Put it that way. So, Actually, you know, I, I was going, I was, uh, you know what? How about this? For now on, you could just throw the Fahrenheit at me and I'll calculate, calculate it on camera right here and and like I, you see the you, you know the algorithms that do, 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 I, I could do that for y'all you know what i'm saying I, I i figure it out on, on on camera you know what i'm saying like yeah man it's an easy little it's a little um what they call it hey what they call that thing like like it's a uh formula so, it's okay, a formula yeah. yeah it's a nice little formula get you a little you you should have this kadeem because you're you're a american football fan and then y'all y'all operate in celsius over there so you, you should you should really know some of this stuff. Listen, but go I, ahead. Can, uh, sorry, go ahead. I, I, I can just about get the time difference correct and expecting me to get Celsius and Fahrenheit. Listen, the only, only thing I really know is what your one o'clock kickoffs is a six o'clock kickoff for us and your four o'clock kickoff is like a nine o'clock kickoff for us. And again, I only know that because that's what time the games are on. So, bro, that's bad, bro. You supposed to... You, they, you, all right. You got some more no huddle for us? No, that's basically it for now. All right. So fantasy football wise, oh, you left out Stefan Gilmore out of there. We ain't got to see him this week. Oh, I know what I was. I was ignoring the Patriots, like because Stefan Gilmore out. I think Jalen Mills is doubtful, but I also know that the Patriots injury report doesn't mean anything because come because <laughs> because come, come come game time they will all be playing. Although very quickly before we get to fantasy football. Mm -hmm. Did you see Bill Belichick name who's calling the plays this year? No. Bill Belichick in his press conference told media who the Dolphins play caller is this year. The the Dolphins play caller? Yeah. Bill Belichick is the one that outed it. Now I'm telling you, yeah. Remember what I said last week? My um what do you call it? My you got served analogy where yeah. Sunny but Sonny left like Marcus Jesus. Oh, Houston. Malcolm Perry snitched. Malcolm Perry. Malcolm Perry snitched. Yo. Malcolm Perry snitched on us, bro. Dude, Bill Belichick in the back office is like, yeah, God sees the play caller for the Dolphins. And the only way. So to some people that's kind of saying that, well, if you've seen the game, you'll kind of work out and stuff like that. But Brian Flores hasn't hadn't confirmed it officially. And Yo. Bill Belichick is. Michael Perry, yeah, yo, I don't like that, bro. Like Malcolm Perry, you was my homie, used to be my homie, used to be my ace. Malcolm Perry snitch, bro. That's wild, bro. Do you think? All right, you know, we'll, we'll finish. We'll finish no huddle, and then we'll go back to that, man. But fantasy footballers, listen, we if you got tour. You're starting Tua until you don't start Tua. Until Tua shows you he's not worthy of a start, Tua is a start. If you and I, I, I wish we had that fantasy football uh um episode, but we didn't. And you, you guys probably already drafted. But I hope you got Tua late enough to where you get value for him. Because what's gonna happen is if you got him too early, you don't really get that Tua tongue of our lower value. So if you if you if you were to get Tua like in the 10th round and on 11th round and and beyond that the your, your team probably looks pretty solid like my team does even though kadeem sniped to it in like the fifth round you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so so listen yes. if you got to her you're starting to her against the belichick defense two is one and oh against belichick by the way let's get that out there so you're gonna start to her you're starting miles gaskin miles gaskin is underrated and here's something here's something that i need i need you guys to hear you always talk you, you always hear about handcuffs get uh alexander madison he's dalvin cook's handcuff right get uh latavius murray who used to be uh alvin Kamara's handcuff savant ahmed and i said this last year i said it last year before anyone even knew how to pronounce savant ahmed's name savant ahmed is is probably the most underrated handcuff in fantasy football and you heard it here first on go time dolphins savant ahmed should be stashed on your bench somewhere and i have leagues 
Well, I do not have Savan Ahmed on my bench right now because I know there's people who are waiting for me to make moves. And they they probably listen to this podcast and they're probably going to snipe me because they're, they're snitches like Mal- Malcolm Perry. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to snipe me when I say this and I put it on air. But you should have Savan Ahmed's stash. What's going to happen is Gaskin's going to get off. In the event, worst case scenario, Gaskin misses any time. It's not going to be Malcolm Brown. It's going to be the Savan Ahmed show. And it's going to be a, a, a very large dosage of the Savan Ahmed show. So, yeah, while you're while, while Gaskin is getting off, you're not going to get any value for Savan Ahmed. You're not. But in the event, 40 acres and a Hellcat, friend of the podcast, Miles Gaskin misses any time. Savon Akbed is your go-to. So let's get into the receivers. Jalen Waddle. I hope you picked them up. Um, I seen people flying around. I had no idea I would be able to get Jalen Waddle on my fantasy team today or this year, and I snatched them. I was doing my mocks. I did not mock Jalen Waddle because I did not think I was going to get a chance to get him. Uh, turns out, snagged Jalen Waddle. Couldn't believe he fell to me. My, my my depth on my bench is, is crazy. He doesn't even start for me yet. So Jalen Waddle, he's a, a a flex consideration. I would not start him yet. I'd keep him, especially against the uh, the Patriots. Let's just see what happens. Let's see how we're going to use him. I, I don't expect us. I don't expect this game to be over 55 points total, right? I, I expect this to be a low scoring game, but I do expect the Dolphins to win this game. Uh, Pretty, pretty comfortable, too. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't start Jalen Waddle this uh this 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 week. Uh I start Devontae Parker, and he's the only receiver I'm starting for the Dolphins this week. So I start Parker, no Stefan Gilmore to worry about. Uh I wouldn't start Waddle, wouldn't start anybody else. Fuller's not playing this week, he's suspended, even though Kadeem didn't tell you that. Um Gisecki. I will also. Hey, don't don't. Hey, we on camera now. You don't. Yeah, know I know. Hey, hey, don't interrupt my segment. It's fantasy football. Something you might not never know about. So, hey, you're starting Gasicki every single week. You're gonna start Gasicki. He got What's Mike up, in our Kadeem? league. What? He got Mike and he got Gasicki in, in our league. You got Gasicki in our league. Oh, well, okay, okay, cool. Then I'll just I'll just get out there. Are you gonna start him? Yeah, you didn't last year when he went off for twenty two points. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it in this league? Listen, man. So start Gasecki. You're gonna start Gasecki, and I, and if I'm being honest, there may be some emotions there because it matters who your tight ends are. I would start Gasecki if you have him, but if you have, if you were able to get Andrews or you know a Waller or Kelsey, you're not gonna start. Gasecki over them boys. If you were able to get uh Logan Thomas, I would not start Gasecki mm-hmm. over Logan Thomas. And if I'm being honest, I would not start Gasecki over John o. Smith. Anybody else that is ranked below John o., I am starting Gasecki over. There's gonna be weeks where Gasecki's not the dude. Shaheen gets the touchdown. Uh uh Hunter Long steals Gasecki fantasy points. There's going to be weeks of inconsistency for sure with Kaseki. But you're going to start him if you have if you have anything anybody ranked under John New Smith. Let's take it to the uh the defense. I hope you got the Dolphins defense and I hope you start him every week. Congratulations if you did. Kadeen, did you get the Dolphins defense? I didn't know. Sorry about that. See? Kadeen don't know what he's doing. He was worried about all other, uh, all, all 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 the other the the Offense sell tickets, so he got Tua and Gaseki. He think he's slick, right? So anyway, you're gonna start Dolphins defense all year, and you're gonna start the number one kicker in the NFL, Jason Sanders. Shout out to Jason Sanders. He, up, he, he, he got Jason Sanders. You finish? Oh, I'll finish when you answer the question. You got Jason Sanders. Oh, okay, it's so fair enough. So I missed out on the defense. I got I got number three. I got three out of four. What, what what more can I do? All right. Take it to the Patriots side of the ball. You are not, I repeat, you are not starting Mac Jones if you have him. You are not starting Damian Harris if you have him. You're not starting 
any other Patriots receivers unless you're in a deeper league where it's like 14 teams, 16 team league. If you're in the 12 team league and you have Jacoby Myers on your on your roster somewhere and you need a flex, I would start Jacoby Myers maybe. But there's nobody on the Patriots side of the ball that I'm starting like except John o. Smith and I got John o. Smith. So I was I will be starting John o. Smith. That's all I got for no huddle, man. Y'all come through for fantasy football advice every week. We got you here on Go Time Dolphins at me at Charlie underscore Touche on Twitter and at Charlie Touche on everywhere else on social media at Go Time Dolphins everywhere on social media as well. What think, we were supposed to what what we were supposed to go back to, Kadir? Read the tickle. That's what I'm going to say. Did Malcolm Perry snitch? <laughs> Man, just. Can't believe Yo. it. And so, hey, how did how did how did Bill Belichick come out and say it though? Like, what did that look like? I can't. I I, I only saw the quote, but the quote was basically something along the lines of, "Yeah, the Dolphins play caller is is um George Godsey." And again, there, you know, there's some beat writers that said, "If you've watched Dolphin games, you know, then then he kind of worked out it was Godsey." But Flores, it didn't come out of Flores' mouth. No, Flores never confirmed who was the play caller. He was kind of like, you know, oh, there's X, Y, Z, all this kind of stuff. Um, Because I think at some point during the preseason, they asked him, and I think it was the quarterback coach was calling the plays into Tua's headset. And Flores basically said, well, that's because, you know, they work together. They work together every single day. They've got kind of verbiage and stuff like that. So it kind of made sense for the plays to get called to Tua via the quarterback coach. But he never said who was calling the plays. It was and, Charlie Charlie Fry's the, the voice in Tua's headset. Yeah. Yeah. Um but, yeah, but that, that that was as far as we got in terms of right. Yeah. And Bill Bellish came out and said, I've got the, you know, I've got the scoop. I've got the inside information. I got the skinny. Just yeah. I hate Bill Belichick, bro. <laughs> like, bro, listen, I know hate is a strong word, people. I do. I know hate. Man, hate is a strong word. You're right. And I hate the Patriots, bro. I really hate the Patriots, though. Like, recording practices, deflating footballs, doing everything you can to try to get an edge, bro. Like, that, y'all, man, I'm done with the I hate Boston. I don't like Boston baked beans. I don't like Boston Red Sox. I don't like nothing in Boston, bro. Like nothing. I don't want to be here, but I'm going to watch the Dolphins get a W here while I'm here. Just know that. Believe that. Yeah, it's just... I just... <sighs> sunny, man. Malcolm Perry done Malcolm Perry done, done, done a sunny. Just done a 30. There's no need for that. I don't like the Bruins and I don't like the Celtics either. I'm just nah, we might as well get that covered too. <laughs> no, nah, it's just um can't believe it. But again, this is where we just go out there and we prove that Bill Belichick can have inside information. It doesn't matter. You know, we've got the talent on both sides of the ball to win this game. And I honestly do believe that. Hey, Monday comes up. We're we're doing a review on the game. What are we going to be talking about? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, obviously, we're talking about the win, the W. Um, talk about how good Tua looks. Talking about how Jalen Waddle, you know, went off for hundred yards, you know, little bubble screens and stuff like that. And I guess just in general, just all, all I want to talk about is the win. That's that's all I care about. I just want to talk about the win. Nothing more, nothing less. Just give us that week one win, please. How about you? What do you think we'll, 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 we'll talk about? If we're talking about Jalen Waddle going off for 100 yards, we might have to start Jalen Waddle in fantasy. I'm just saying. Well, everyone knows I'm rubbish at fantasy. So take that with a pinch of salt. But, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, don't start Jalen Waddle. And then if he doesn't play well, blame me. That That's not fair. I can predict that, but. Oh, I, I can hope for that. Hey, listen, you know, we about to get up out of here. Y'all follow us the uh, bonus time. First time on YouTube, we got video. 
if you if you've been rocking with us since the first episode with no video, no quality, no nothing, like we just we just hey pick up pick up the phone and let's just record us talking about the dolphins. You guys finally get to see the transition. I'm not home. I'm on the road working. Everybody knows I work in in different states and different cities, and I work 72 and 84 hour weeks. Kadeem's in London. Um, and if you've been rocking with us this long, just know we have some stuff on the way. And I've been saying, oh, it's on the way. We're on the way. We're on the way. And we really are. And I, I cannot wait to see for everyone to see the uh the growth and, and where we're about to take this this podcast, man. So y'all know what time it is. Stay positive, test negative. For Kadeem Simmons, I'm Charlie Touche. Thank you for tuning in this time. Make sure you catch us next time on Go Time. Already. Before we head into bonus time, very quickly, just a massive thank you to Five Yard Lee for the overlay on now on YouTube. You know, the, the fancy graphics and all that kind of stuff. That was Lee. There'll be some slight changes going forward. And again, thanks, Lee, for that. But it's just, yeah. As as for bonus time, um, what do you make of, or for kind of going back to what do you think, you know, what do you want to talk about on Monday? Over, under, two interceptions for the Dolphins' defense. Over, two, or under, two? All right, here's the thing. I'm going to take the under because you said over two. Over two means three. I don't think we're going to get three picks. So Do you know if, you said, I, if you I said if you said 1.5, if you said 1.5 or 2.5, it'll be it'll be easier to, to to decide. But two, two could be a push because we could get two and then we push. So I, I don't know. Um I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't even take that bet, honestly. That's not something I'm going to Vegas and going to the counter with, with with your pounds. Not even my dollars or your pounds or your euros. What's a euro? Euro. So if you're part, part of the European Union, yep. then you use euros. So like Amsterdam, where Ajax are, you know, your new your new football team. Hey, I got my Ajax jersey. You know what? And I'm going to wear my Ajax jersey on the show. Like I'm telling so, you, three, three little birds. <laughs> Pitch by um, my doorstep. Hold on. I'm singing. Singing sweet songs of melody pure and true. Singing, this is my message to you. Ooh, ooh. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. I got my Ajax jersey. All right, let's go. My bad. No, no, no it's fine. Um, So, yeah. I, so, if you're, in, if you're in the Netherlands, Spain, France... They all use Euros over there. Even even when England were in the European Union, we never used Euros. We always stuck with pounds. That's just the UK thing that are better than everyone else. But um, so that's that, that's that's what Euros are. Let me let me let me uh so you can use pounds anywhere else or only in the UK? Only in the UK. Can you use Euros in the in, in, in the UK? No. Most shops you... most shops won't, won't, won't allow you to, you know. But you can use dollars. No. Like America, you can't use American money in uh in London. No, because no, because you're in London. Hold on. I thought I thought for sure I had. Oh no, we did had to get an exchange. We had to go to the yeah. exchange. Yeah, yeah, we did had to get an exchange. You're right. You're right. I thought I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Hey, That's you fine. know what's funny? When we was in London, and uh, we we did get the uh, exchange, the currency. Uh, me, Bert, and LB was looking like y'all got all kind of coins. Like, you don't you don't you have a a, a pence? Oh, it's so a... literally, I've got one on my table right now. So, this is two pence. Um, I don't. Yes, yeah, so you got one pence, two pence, like five why, pence. Why, so for 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 American listeners, a pence is like cents. So you have the same way we have a penny, they have one one pence. The same way we have five. Uh, we have a nickel that's five cents. They have you have a five five pence five, five p coin, yeah. But yeah, that's it's weird because y'all have two pence. Like, why would we have a, a two cent coin? You, so it is, it's weird. Yeah, yeah that's this wild. Is, yeah, we got what? So one, what other? What? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, one p, two p, five p, ten p, twenty p, fifty p, 
and did a one pound coin, a two pound coin, and then like five pound note, ten pound note, twenty pound note, fifty pound note. So you you have so he have a, a one one pound coin, and that's what Kadeem said he was throwing up in the strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I wasn't was, flogging. Good, like, could you? Okay, good okay. thing was this making is, it rain with one pound pence this is, with coins. This is two pence, yeah. Because okay, so like, this is this is on my table. Imagine, yeah. throw, imagine throwing that a one pound coin at someone. Like, just hey, <laughs> just throw it. Like, you making it like rain with coins. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, for our London listeners, we have obviously. Uh, well, I, maybe it's not that obvious, but we have one cent. We have a nickel, which is five. We have a dime, which is ten cent. We have a quarter, twenty-five. Y'all have twenty. We have twenty-five. We and then, though you never see these things, we have a fifty-cent piece, and it's like it. No one ever uses it. Like it, it is, it is, it is history. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you never see these things get used. Um, but yeah, it's funny because I was in London, and when we were in London, like we had the currency and we had the pound, the notes. That's what y'all call them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we had the, the the notes and we had some some coins. And I'm at the counter and there's people behind me in line, like, yo, what is taking this dude so long? And I was like, yo, what should I pay with? And then the dude at the counter was like, just give me this, 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 and that. I don't even know if it if it totally right. Like, I'm pretty sure he got over on me. But <laughs> yeah. I think I think a lot of it is because you know, so much stuff costs like you know 99p. Or all that kind of stuff, or like you know, forty nine p, all that kind of stuff. So, mm. you no, know, like if you go McDonald's and get two cheeseburgers for ninety nine p, or ninety nine p each, that's one pound ninety eight. Pay for two pound coin, just get your two p back. You know, it's just it's it, it's odd. Um, y'all like, don't have tax. Mm, not on stuff. Oh, like y'all that, got right? free healthcare. Ah, right, you know yeah. we're we not gonna go here. We're not gonna go here. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. That's what's up. I'm coming. I'm moving to London, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm moving to London. All right, we we getting off. We getting off course. Uh, uh, talking about free health. If I was LB, I'd be like talking about glass. <laughs> talking about free healthcare. You know? <laughs> talk about free healthcare. Let's talk about um uh Austin Jackson. COVID list. What what do you make of that? Um, so he's vaccinated as far as I know, right? So he should be okay to come back once you know he's over COVID. It's it's unfortunate. I think given the way the O line has looked so far in preseason, you kind of want it to be as uh, as solid as it can be with all your starters. I think we kind of worked out who four of the five starters were gonna be. The only thing we kind of didn't know was who's going to start our right tackle. We saw Jesse Davis in preseason, but then like the second and last preseason game, you saw a lot of Liam Eichenberg, but then Liam Eichenberg went down injured. So what you'll probably see is maybe Jesse Davis at left tackle. And at that point, you're there just going, it's not ideal. But because I think, so Liam Eichenberg, and I know you said Austin Jackson, but I'm getting there eventually. Lee Meikenberg came out and said that he played most of preseason at like left guard or right tackle, a bit of centre, but hardly anything at left tackle. So if we assume that Austin Jackson isn't available for Sunday and to start in left tackle, like he's not going to start Lee Meikenberg at left tackle. So it's either Greg Little or Jesse Davis, and then you have Lee Meikenberg at right tackle. So after Austin Jackson going down, it's unfortunate. You know, you'd want him to start. You want him to have a good season. Again, I know you don't really follow Twitter like that, but he's been getting cooked on social media. Like, people have just been making mock-ups of, you know, all the times he got beat in pre-season. And there have been a few Dolphin fans who have come out and said, but, you know, how, how did those drives work out? Like, because all, all of these times he's, he's getting beat or, you know, the guys getting around him, it's not sacks. It's not like he was giving up sacks or, you know, yeah. a lot of pressure, to be honest. You know, it's not it's not ideal seeing your left tackle get beat that much, I guess, and probably not against starters. But at the same time, it, I guess it is what it is. And you know, I would have liked for him to play, for him to get as much game time as possible, for him to you know keep on building from what we saw last year. But I guess it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate for him to be down week one. Let me make myself clear. I have zero worries about Austin, friend of the podcast. 
Austin Jackson getting it together for this season. My dog going to be straight, man. Like, I'm not worried about Austin Jackson. Like, I have other things on this team that I could be concerned about. Austin Jackson ain't one of them. Like, he's going to be straight, bro. Hey, it is what it is. It's the offseason, preseason, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Would have liked to see him out there because uh, I got Miles Gaskin at running back, and I'm going to need him to get off. For real, for real, on my fantasy team. That's all I got, man. Same. Let's let's get this let's get this W and reconvene. Come, you know, the, the next, next podcast, I guess. <laughs>